Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a beauty haul, beauty slash makeup haul. As you can tell by the title, this song that is playing quietly behind is um, Ellie Golding's version of Only Girl in the World. She did it in the live lounge. I love Ellie Golding and I love the song. So I put them, put it, the song, quietly behind. Um, to start off with, I'm going to do my, like, my best. Um, sanitizers, moisturizers, and that jazz. So first I'm going to start off with this one. Um, I have two different moisturizers, sanitizers. One for inside, and then one for my handbag, when I go back handbag. So I'm doing like things like any bag. This is my citrus bun that I put in my bag. This is some hand sanitizer, so we can instantly drive in, which I found from. Basically, it's more of like a liquidy one, whereas my other one's going to be a gel one. It's small and compact. I've had it for a month, and I'm going to use it for two weeks. So, yeah, that is my hand sanitizer. So, next, this is my gel one. It's not very long, as you can probably tell. Um, you see me to see my camera will focus better with this one. So basically, this is more of a gel and it takes longer to rub in because it's bigger. So I keep this one for home because it's less of a hassle to put on. So that are, that are, that is the So next I have my Dove body wash. Uh, this is Plum and Secura Blossom Scent, which is a lovely smell. I didn't think it was going to be that nice because obviously it's got plum in it. And I don't know what plum smells like, but it smells lovely and I advise you to get it. Um, this was part of a set though, so yeah, you know. And it's one of their new Christoph Smooth Skin, but I got it for last year, so it's not really that new. And I haven't got around to using this one yet. Oh no, oh wait, I've used it once because um, obviously I don't spend a lot of time washing with liquid soap. I usually use solid soap. But yeah, that is my Dove thingy. God knows. Um sorry, Maybe things are going up ahead. I use a loofah or loofu, loofa. A loofa to use that with. And this was what a loofa is, in case you are wondering. Um because some people actually don't know what it is. I didn't know it was called a loofah, loofah, whatever it's called, until now. So finally, I have um, my Primark £1 for two, four in one gentle facial cleansing wipes. And this cleanses the skin, tones the skin, moisturises, and removes makeup all in one. And it's for all skin types. I haven't used them yet. These were what I got sort of on the run, shall we say because I was in need of some facial wipes quickly and obviously I was in Primark at the time I saw them and I sort of picked them up um, when I do try them though I will do a review because usually the cheaper they get the more like the more they don't do much for the skin shall we say but basically um, hopefully with that it will be good if not I'm going to have to get some more wipes because I've run out so yeah, that is, I'm still holding the dove, um, that is basically all my moisturizers, body washes. So yeah, now we're going to move on to my nail varnishes and tools, makeup tools. So this is a small minority of my nail varnishes. First I'm going to show you my nail collection um, white tip whitener. That makes sense. Um, this is when I have clear nails. I put on clear nail varnish, whiten the tips with this. Um, yeah, brush it, brush it onto my tips. Do it onto my tips, and then I add another coat on top to prevent it coming off. And then I have my electric blue Claire's nail varnish. This is chip resistant. I got this for one pound fifty. It was two pound twenty five originally, but I got it in the sale, so that's why. I got it for 150 and um, I think I did a review of that on my blog which I'll leave below. So next I have 
what I know I definitely did do a review on. My Fern Midnight Manicure um, nail polish. I also have nail foils, but I haven't tried them yet, so when I do try them, I'll do a review of them as well. Just so you know what nail foils are like. Um, it's in a pretty little box. Um, basically, it's six nail branches. I'll leave a link below. You can have a look at the reviews of each of them. They're midnight colours, obviously. It's all in the name. Um, I love these bits. And yeah, they're some of my nail branches. And then, last but not least, I have my Saint or Sinner nail polish. Um, for some reason, it has a mirror inside of it. And I have no clue why that is, so it's me. Um, and I like the box because it keeps them tidy as it did in the Fern box. It keeps it nice and tidy. Um, the colours I will now explain. So I love these colours. I've only used the purple at the moment. So when I've used all the colours, I will also do a review of that if you wish. Um, so we have. Sorry, I can't read backwards. Scarlet, Mystic, Poppy, and Passion. So yeah, I've only used Mystic at the moment. Um, it does need quite a few coats. Um, yeah, I love these. I love the colours, and they're more of like if you're going out on the night sort of colours. You know, going to a party, going to a meal, something like that. So that is my. Well, a few of my nail branches. I'm planning to make a huge collection, which I will show in a video one day when I have the hugest of collection. Because I'm getting more and more into nail art. So, next, these are my little tools, my makeup tools. I don't use the two blush brushes I got here, they're my really old ones, which do need to be checked out. Um, I have well, my eyes, like a mini eyeshadow brush. I, I don't know what they're called. And then you have the taller ones here. Obviously, as you can tell, hopefully. Um, this is a really dirty case. It's covered in powder from the brush brushes. So I apologise for that. But I do have my new blusher brush here with me. Um, which I shall show you. I got it from Primark for 150. I was in real bad need of one, as you can tell by the state of the other two. So I got this one. Um, it comes with a little black, uh, black clear case, um, which comes inside of the packet. It comes in. Um, um, it's like a hot pink at the top, and then it fades out into a white. And then the small handle is great because I prefer smaller handles because if it's got a larger handle, it's like harder to get great definition. Um, I use this as my contouring brush when I do contour too because I feel there's no difference between the brushes. Um, I'm currently trying to get hold of the foundation brush because I want to try them out because of all the hype about them. But yeah, when I do try them out, that's how it goes. It's got a random stray hair in it. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a brown hair somewhere. Yeah, and it's already shiny as so. well. So yeah, um, this case keeps it all plump, and I just love this case, I find it great. Um, but I always put it back in here because um, I don't want it getting ruined. I haven't used it yet, I haven't worn makeup in a week. Um, I have no clue why. I just haven't been up to it. School holidays, and staying in late, whatever. Um, I should really stop saying whatever I've been saying all day. Next I have my little case for my mirror. This has gems over it from Schwarzkowski. That's the first time I think I've said his name right and just little elements it has on it. Um, I can't tell you where I got it from because I got it for my birthday so sorry about that. But I can tell you what's inside. Um, I have it taken the sticker off because I think it's bootless plus the fact that I don't want to run the mirror and have a random patch. Um, this one's more of a like uh, zoomed in mirror so this is perfect for eyeliner and basically anything you want to see close on. And then this is more of an um, like a less zoomed like mirror, so you can see your full face better. And basically, this is great for basically contouring, putting blush on. Basically, when you have a mirror, maybe doing your hair. 
Um, yeah, I love this mirror. I should start using it more because I usually just use the big mirror because I cannot be bothered to rush around getting mirrors out, so on. And that's why I've been wearing makeup for a week. So that is all of that. If that makes sense. And now I'm going to be moving on to my makeup. So here it goes. So I have two makeup bags. Um, I have this one, which I got ages ago with some makeup. Um, this has got all my older makeup in it, shall we say. Um, makeup, like my first makeup with like, do you know when you used to buy sets and your makeup used to come in sets like this and we did blusher and stuff. This is like my lesser used makeup. As you can tell, it's quite right to see because this is the makeup that I used when I first started wearing it. Um, I do have my newer lip gloss in here. Um, I don't really wear a lot of lip gloss or lipstick anymore. I'm going to go back into wearing lipstick because it stays on longer and yeah. I have another eyebrow brush here. Um, the clear rand. I don't really use these a lot. Um, basically my old powder that I used to use. So nothing exciting in there. It's just my old makeup. So then I have my more exciting one. No, it's just that same. And this is my bigger makeup bag with my newer makeup in it. Um, I have my natural collection liquid foundation and tinted moisturiser. Tinted moisturiser, as I said, for those days where you can't be bothered to do a lot and you um, can't bother to put moisturiser on and then put your makeup on. So I just use this for when I have those days. And then my actual liquid foundation. Um, this is honey, the liquid foundation is honey and my tinted moisturiser is beige if you're interested. Um, and then I have my pressed powder from Ua and this is shade 2. Um, it's quite dark, I use it for contouring and blusher. And then I have my lighter powder that I have from The Works. I think it's like a discontinued brand now. But um, this is my lighter just for the whole face powder. Just in case I need to top up on foundation. I don't really take liquid foundation out with me a lot. Um, then I have my new uh, uh, blusher. And as you can probably tell already, I'm a big fan of Mua. This is like what I used to wear as my first makeup. This is shade 1 and I'm dropping stuff again. Then I have my red lip gloss. Um, it's quite pink actually in the video, but it's actually red. It's because the sun shining on it. Um, I wear that quite a lot. And then I have my full lash effect mascara, which I got in a magazine, so I can't tell you what brand it is. Um, and so on and then I have my two eye pencils um, I've run out of liquid eyeliner which is a bummer I need to get some more um, I have a turquoise color turquoise being my favorite color which I was chuffed with when I found this and then my black which I use every day I'm sorry if you can't see them very well I'm swinging them about in my hand and then I have my eyeshadow which is six, shade 16 and it's a matte. Um, I love matte. Um, I prefer a matte makeup. I just, I don't know why I prefer matte makeup. I just do. Um, and I love the little container it comes in. So yeah. Oh, and then I have like some sparkly eyeliner which I very rarely, very rarely wear. I'm getting confused with my words. And it's also from UN, it's purple. Um, and it's shade 7, but um, I wear it very rarely wear glitter. So that is my whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, basically, that's what I had to say. Um, if you want the links to the music, it's down below. Um, share, like, subscribe, so on. Look at my blog for reviews. Thanks so much. Bye!